Sometimes actors have just got the goods. They know exactly which projects to hop aboard of to ride the train to success, knocking out banger after banger when it comes to their films. But what exactly makes a streak? And which Hollywood heroes have actually got such a coveted prize? To qualify, we need four or more subsequent films to achieve at least an 80% approval rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Because that's what just denotes a great film now, apparently. Movies that went on to become cult classics or beloved favourites in retrospect won't count towards an actor's streak of hits since the film had to perform well when it was released. It is a lot harder than you might think to nail four performances in a row that went on to achieve hit status, but I wouldn't be here rambling on if they hadn't managed it. So load up your combo streak as I'm Ash from What Culture, and these are 10 times an actor went on an insane streak of great movies. But before we begin, I want to tell you about the epic new MMO game, Vikings War of Clans. Vikings was inspired by some of your favorite 90s RPG and strategy games that we all loved and played with a dedication. Today's youngsters will never understand. With more than 20 million online players, Vikings is a constantly evolving environment with epic fights over resources, forging new alliances and competing in live events. Support what culture by downloading Vikings for free via our links in the description box below and get a special bonus of 200 gold coins and a protective shield which will be extremely useful from the start. 10. Eddie Murphy. Four films from 1982 to 1984. Eddie Murphy may have gotten his start at an early age on the set of Saturday Night Live, but the comic didn't remain on the small screen for long. Using his stardom from the show, Murphy successfully made the transition to the silver screen and racked up a number of hits over the course of his 40-plus year-long career. Norbit was not one of them. But in saying that, even most of his movies that failed at the box office went on to become cult classics garnering millions of fans. Looking back at his filmography, Murphy holds an important distinction over every other person on this list. It was his first film that kicks off his longest streak. Ooh, impressive. Back in 1982, Eddie Murphy starred alongside Nick Nolte in a buddy cop action flick called 48 Hours. That movie was a massive hit when it came out, which is why Murphy carried on knocking them out with Trading Places, Delirious and Beverly Hills Cop, which were some of his best films in his early career. Ultimately, his streak was undone by one many fans today love, his next movie being The Golden Child. Not so golden after all, though. 9. Audrey Hepburn Four films from 1961 to 1964 Audrey Hepburn was what many people consider an icon of both the fashion and film industries. Her achievements have been recognized across the board, earning her the coveted EGOT status, which includes wins in all the major performance awards. So she has an Emmy, a Grammy, an Oscar, and a Tony Award. Throughout her career, she played some of the most notable women in film history, including Eliza Doolittle in My Fair Lady, Princess Anya Smitty Smith in Roman Holiday, and what is probably her most famous role, Holly Golighty in Breakfast at Tiffany's, which is the role that kicked off her longest streak of four films. The movie that managed to whiz on a roaring fire, though, was the ironically named for this metaphor, Paris When It Sizzles, which is an all right movie, but not one that has achieved a high enough rating to continue her streak. Combo Breaker. Eight, Meryl Streep. Four films from 1978 to 1982. Walk up to any random person on the street and ask them who the greatest actress in cinema is. Odds are, most folk will utter the name Melissa, that woman that replaced Avril Lavigne and has been fooling fans ever since, but then they'll probably say Meryl Streep afterwards. Over the years, she has racked up a serious cabinet of awards, even getting France to make her a commander of the Order of Arts and Letters. Her career has spanned decades, but her longest streak of four films began with only her second film role in 1978's Deer Hunter. That performance was followed with Kramer vs. Kramer, Manhattan, and The French Lieutenant's Woman. The movie that put an end to a streak was Still of the Night, which isn't her best movie, to be sure, but it rates high on many critics' lists in the suspense-slash-drama genre, so eh, whatever. 7. Tom Hanks Five films from 1998 to 2002. Few are as beloved as Tom Hanks. He got his start in comedies like the show Bosom Buddies and films like Bachelor Party, but as he matured as an actor, his roles did as well. 
Moving from comedy into drama can be risky, but there are some brave souls who have actually succeeded in a genre swap. Granted, Hanks never lost his sense of humor, but his later work in the 90s and into the 21st century speaks volumes towards his growth as an actor. Hanks' biggest streak, as he's had more than one, the lucky devil, began with the 1998 film Saving Private Ryan. It was followed by Toy Story 2, Castaway, Road to Perdition, and Catch Me If You Can, which is a heck of a list, if I do say so myself. Hanks' streak was only broken with the release of The Terminal in 2004, but even that isn't that bad. Man's a genius, really. 6. Al Pacino Five films from 1972 to 1977. Throughout his exceptional career spanning more than 50 film roles, Al Pacino has played some of cinema's most important characters. While Marlon Brando may be known as The Godfather, it was Pacino who took the role and ran with it throughout the trilogy. Pacino's longest-running streak consists of five films from 1972, beginning with the aforementioned The Godfather and continuing with performances in Serpico, Scarecrow, The Godfather Part II and Dog Day Afternoon. When his streak finally came to an end in 1977, it was at the hands of Bobby Deerfield, which was universally panned. It was a hiccup in Pacino's long filmography and, given his talents in acting, a surprising one. Then again, he did appear in one of the worst movies ever made, Jack and Jill, so perhaps he hasn't always been so enlightened. 5. Jack Nicholson Five films from 1980 to 1985 Jack Nicholson is one of those actors who has been in so many hits, it is hard to think of any he did that would actually break a streak. But totally normal, it happens to every guy, and it's not a big deal. Despite one or two duds along the way then, Nicholson's longest streak makes for some fantastic viewing. The movie that kicked off his longest streak of five films was Stanley Kubrick's The Shining, in which he uttered the words that would follow him throughout his career. Here's Johnny! That terrifying performance was followed by Reds, The Postman Always Rings Twice, Terms of Endearment, and Preezy's Honor. The film that broke that streak was Heartburn in 1986. But then, just three years later, he set the standard for comic book villainy with his performance of the Joker in Batman. But too little too late, Nicholson. You already broke your combo. 4. Daniel Day-Lewis Five films from 1988 to 1993. Daniel Day-Lewis is one of those actors whose work essentially defines the term method acting. His devotion to the craft is almost frightening for regular actors to behold due to the way of him throwing himself into a role to the point that the actor and the character become indistinguishable from one another. Which is particularly worrying when he's playing gang leaders and oil barons, but still respectable. The film that began his longest streak was The Unbearable Lightness of Being. It was followed by an Academy Award-winning performance in My Left Foot, The Last of the Mohicans, In the Name of the Father, and The Age of Innocence. The role that brought an end to his streak was 1996's The Crucible, in which he played John Proctor. The film wasn't bad by any means, but just fell shy of the mark that would make it a hit for this list, because again, Rotten Tomatoes. 3. Marlon Brando Five films from 1972 to 1980. Who could forget his cries of Stella in A Streetcar Named Desire or his words to an infant Kal-El, the son becomes the father and the father becomes the son that he spoke in Superman. Marlon Brando has spat out some words that will stand the test of time. His streak kicked off in 1972 with The Godfather because, of course, and continued with Last Tango in Paris, The Missouri Breaks, Superman and Apocalypse Now. The movie that finally put an end to his dominance of the box office was 1980's The Formula. 2. Clint Eastwood Seven films from 1971 to 1974 Clint Eastwood has acted in dozens of films over the years and has had several impressive streaks. His first streak of six films was from 1964 with A Fistful of Dollars and continued to 1969's Where Eagles Dare, but that was not his longest, oh no. In 1971, he starred in The Beguiled, which kicked off the mega Congo line of seven films. It was followed by Play Misty for Me, Dirty Harry, Joe Kidd, Magnum Force, High Plains Drifter, and Thunderbolt and Lightfoot in 1974. That was eventually undone by 1975's The Eager Sanction, but by 76, he was already starring in The Outlaw Joey Wales, which is one of the best Western films to date. He kicked off another four-film streak in 1992 with Unforgiven, which he also produced and directed. This is just turning into a massive spew of movies, but if anything, it just proves what a great streaker Clint Eastwood really is. Oh, there's an image that'll stick with you. 1. Dustin Hoffman 
10 films from 1970 to 1982. With more than 80 film credits to his name, it should come as no surprise to learn Dustin Hoffman has had a little streak or two in his career. Not only does Hoffman have numerous combos of amazing movies, he has the longest of any other actor in history. The film that kicked it all off in 1970 was Little Big Man, in which he played Jack Crabb. That performance was followed by Straw Dogs, Papillion, Lenny, All the President's Men, Marathon Man, Straight Time, Kramer vs. Kramer, Agatha and Tootsie, which may be his most iconic role. But that role was immediately followed by one of his all-time best, to be fair. He betrayed Willie Loman in 1985's Death of a Salesman to widespread critical acclaim. But that was then quickly followed by a film that's long been considered to be one of the worst movies ever made, 1987's Ishtar. Hey, you can't be the best without some comparative trash to measure it up against, at least. And that's our list. What other actors have had an incredible movie streak? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. I've been Ash and this has been What Culture. Make sure to subscribe to the What Culture YouTube channel for more lists like this, and don't forget to visit whatculture.com for daily news and articles. Thanks for watching.